Hello, welcome to your wintry weekend forecast from the Met Office. A colder feel for all parts this weekend. An easterly wind picking up, bringing... A significant wind chill and also some significant snowfall across parts of the east. We have amber warnings in place, uh, one across Scotland, one across East Anglia and the southeast of England for Sunday. Let's deal with that. So uh, one across Scotland, first of all, it's been in place uh, for a couple of days now and still uh, in force until lunchtime on Saturday. We've seen some significant disruption here and uh, just more snow falling, although it will ease a little bit uh, overnight. More snow falling. It's already caused some significant disruption. Uh, rain on the east coast of Scotland, parts of southeast Scotland, northeast England, are also causing potentially further issues and we have yellow warnings in place here. So staying pretty wet across that northeastern corner of the UK. The snow, as I say, perhaps easing a little bit, but still falling mostly over hills at this stage, but turning perhaps increasingly to lower levels as we go through Saturday. Rain showers across northern England, they'll be on the heavy side as well and some further for parts of Wales too. And with the wet weather over South Wales and southwest England, as it turns colder later in the night, so there's the potential for things to turn a little bit icy. It will be a, a colder night across the, the southwest in particular compared to recent nights. Um, obviously still pretty cold across Scotland where we've got the cold air in place and those strong winds exacerbating the cold feel and also an extra hazard for that snow which continues to fall. Into Saturday then, and as I say, that snow perhaps easing somewhat, but still falling and getting down to lower levels across eastern Scotland, increasingly northeast England and southeast Scotland as well. Initially over hills here, but some snow coming to lower levels by the end of Saturday. Rain across northern England, uh, parts of the Midlands, and some heavier bursts getting into East Anglia and the southeast. Many western areas, much drier. A few showers, yes, but uh, should see some sunny spells coming through here. And uh, as is always the case with an easterly wind, western areas will be uh, favoured for brighter conditions. And probably that's where we'll see the top temperatures as well, six, seven degrees. But generally, these temperatures on the low side for the time of year. Certainly colder than it has been recently across the south and add on that strengthening wind, it will feel a lot colder as well. A significant wind chill picking up on the east coast. And we're going to start to see more in the way of wintry precipitation as well. More sleet and snow. Eastern Scotland, northeast England turning to snow at lower levels through Saturday evening, but increasingly then further south, parts of Lincolnshire, uh, more southern parts of northern England, maybe into the Midlands, possibly even a little bit through the night across Wales and southwest England. So further snow flurries likely as we go into Sunday and that easterly wind pushing that wintry weather further west and again lowering those temperatures. That band of wintry weather from this weather front that pushes away during the early hours of Sunday morning but then eyes down across the near continent this area of low pressure bringing moisture and by Sunday we're all pretty much in the cold air we've still got those easterly winds and this little weather feature in particular could start to bring some heavy snow across East Anglia and the southeast we're going to have uh, whatever happens, easterly winds bringing snow showers to parts of the east. So we have a yellow warning for snow and ice covering much of eastern Britain from Saturday afternoon onwards. But across parts of East Anglia and the southeast, the potential for some heavy snow and uh, persistent snow as well through the early hours of Sunday morning and continuing through Sunday. East Anglia down across the southeast. There is some rain mixed in with that. It's not perhaps all clear cut. There's always going to be some uncertainty, but much of this is expected expected to be snow falling through Sunday and it could really start to mount up in places as well. Five to ten centimetres of snow. Some places 
could see 20 centimetres of snow. So we've got the yellow warnings in place, but also then this amber area from Norfolk down through Suffolk, Essex and Kent. In this zone, 10 centimetres of snow, maybe 15, possibly as much as 20 centimetres of snow, combined with, again, strong winds. So that means blizzards, pretty treacherous travelling conditions on Sunday across parts of East Anglia and the southeast. Here's the bigger picture for Sunday. We'll see further snow showers across northeast England and eastern Scotland. They'll be kind of in bands, so some places seeing a lot of snow, some places may miss out and not see much at all. Much in the Midlands, Wales, southwest England, Northern Ireland, western Scotland, looking largely dry and bright with um, some good spells of sunshine, but it's still going to be cold. If anything, it just gets colder through the weekend. These are the maximum temperatures on Sunday, struggling uh, to get above freezing in some spots. And again, add on that wind, which could be gusting 40, 50 miles an hour across East Anglia in the southeast. That is going to feel raw with that snow falling as well. So as I said at the start, a wintry weekend, much colder for all of us, significant wind chill, Heavy snow in parts of the east. Keep up to date with the latest from the Met Office. The warnings are on the app, they're on the website, and of course we'll continually keep things updated if you follow us on social media.